So now, we dealt with the situation where he's blocked that, right? So I'm just going to double pock to make my way in again. Just do the same strike, okay? So I go one pock, two pock, two pock. <laughs> so, pock, pock again. That's all I'm looking for. But it's specifically because his energy is moving forward that I'm able to use this. He's not crossing my center line. Okay, so I get this. Get that energy. Oh, he stopped me. I'm just going to, from here, transfer over. I'll get the shot in. A lot of people say when I do this, I go really fast. Right? But it's not that I'm going fast. It's just that there's just a small space there. If I wind up doing that, then there's a big space I have to travel. But when I keep that connection, when I attack here, look at that. That's only a few inches. Does that make sense? So that's one of the reasons we want to keep that contact, keep the control, and also set us up for our next shot. So once you have that, you just go back and forth. Even on the bottoms are here. Easy. Easy. The best way to get fast is to go slow. Absolutely the best way. All right. And you got the flu. Right? That's right. You go this pace, you will get good and you will get fast. How much power am I using last? Not very much. No. Do that? No. For those of you guys that have already seen this before, I'm going to add a detail in for you. Okay. When I do this, right now there's sort of like I don't want to say basic and advanced because the advanced version is actually the way it's supposed to be done. But I say basic just because there's no monitoring of this hand right here on the second one. Okay. So instead now, once you come in, I want you to make sure you're monitoring this here. You guys see that? This is just for the people. If this is your first time seeing this, don't worry about this. Trunks, you should be working this. Nick, you should be working this. Daryl, you should be working this. Okay, making sure you have this little trap here. This is only momentary. This isn't forever. Okay. One of his big counters is going to be take this hand and bring it up and stop that shot, right? So how do I stop that shot? I, how do I stop that shot? I have to make sure I block that with that elbow. Does that make sense? Okay. I'm going to block that with that elbow. Because otherwise, he's going to stop that. Yeah. Okay. So I stop it. Does that make sense? Yes. So I consider this basic. And not, not monitoring the arm. And instead of this, more the advanced version of it. But it's really not advanced, it's really what it's supposed to be. Does that make sense? But if, you, but if you're so focused on this part, you'll, you won't get the hand part, right? Because this really, this is the important thing. Because, like, the most important part is that shot. What are the odds that he's probably going to block that? <laughs> Wicked you know? high. Right? If, we can, if it's you, I mean, you're amazing. Right? But <laughs> the idea, you. that's why I come here. So you get healthy and you get better. Right? <laughs> but the idea here, right, is that he's blocked that, so, which is like not very likely. So I have to put it in double pox. So we're already looking at, you know, something's going wrong. So I'll probably get that shot in then, right? So we're talking about this guy has trained to stop that. And he's trained to stop that, I hope. Right? So he's trained to stop this and trained to stop that. Now we're getting into the, the, the ether of martial arts. Now we're getting into that 90-10 rule. Right? You guys know what the 90-10 rule is? Has anybody ever heard of that? 90-10 rule. 10% of your martial arts training should cover about 90% of your self-defense situations. 10%. That's it. Can you punch? No good helmet. Slap an ear, poke an eye. Kick a groin, kick a leg. You know, a little bit of clinch gets you out of there. A little bit of groundwork gets you back up on your feet and out of there, right? Now the other 90%, the heel hooks and the sweeps and the hip tosses and the triple pox, you know, and, and, and the, all the C-Lot series and, right, the, the five swords, is that what you got one of your combinations? Yeah. <laughs> Thundering clouds or hammers or whatever it is, right? All that kind of stuff, all those, fan, all those big combinations. That's your, that's, you know, that's like 90%. We spend 90% of our time working on stuff like that, but that only covers like the other 10% of, of self-defense situations where maybe, you know, you've got a trained individual on the street. Does that make sense? So now, and that's why I'm so big about understand your basics and your fundamentals. 
That's why this whole, so the very first seminar, I said, if we're going to do a Kaishin JKD seminar, it's got to be on fundamentals. It's got to be on base, basics of all, of all the sessions first. Because if you don't know, we can show you, we'll show you cool, like, all sorts of nifty, fun stuff, man, on the last session uh, tomorrow. But you're going to look, look at it and go, wow, I can't do that without these basic skills. You guys understand? So that 90-10 rule. So we are definitely in that 10% idea if he blocks that and blocks this. That, that I got to start going, coming in here. Whoa, nice job. Right? And blocking it. You guys understand? So that's why this one to me, this is the important one. More important than that is that one. Sorry about that. All right, more important than that. I thought you were going to move back. I swear to God, I thought you were doing so good. All right. I'm sorry, Larry. So, so but that's, that's the idea. Right? Is that that's the important shot, the one that gets to the eye first. Okay? Maybe he blocks it. Okay? Oh dang. Let me do it again. <laughs> Make sense? Alright. Don't hit your partner in the head. <laughs> Sorry. 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 Go ahead. All right.